Hi, uh, my name's Andy. I do caravan site reviews, also fixes for uh, caravan issues as we experience them. I try to document solutions or how to fix it. Um, today um, it's going to be a quick upload of a video um, for a part I developed for Bailey Caravans. Uh, the doors um, for the bathroom, the sliding doors, they have a tendency, let's just say, to pop off uh, during travel. Um, if you're lucky they'll just pop off and won't break. If you're unlucky what happens is one hinge will pop, the other hinge won't but the um, pressure on that hinge will cause the um, the remaining hinge to snap. So following on now is a video of some parts I've designed and sell uh, to uh, provide a solution for that problem. Um, you can get the parts from a link in my um, description. Uh, they're available on eBay. And um, whilst they're not a replacement hinge, you'd still need to get the replacement hinges snapped from Prima or someone like that. Uh, my kit will prevent it from occurring again, or 99%. I've um, had many successful trips since um, this occurring and uh, three trips previously we lost the door, we've damaged a unit, broken a hinge, uh, scraped the door, but um, since fixing the kit to it that I designed, it's um, no longer occurring. So if you're having the bathroom sliding door issue on a Bailey caravan, um, you know, please drop me a line. If you're unsure if it fits your caravan, then you know I'm happy to chat in the comments or you can drop me a mail and uh, I can let you know if it fit. Thank you. So what we've got is a alignment spacer support um, bracket down the bottom here, which keeps the door in the center, but also provides support for the sides, but minimizes the rocking movement. So we can't rock. It also aligns up with the gray thing on the front. That's fit, that one, sorry, that one's fitted first. Then you fit the backstop. The backstop is aligned basically by shutting the door until you're up by your bracket and you pull your bracket across. When your bracket's across, you know, to lock, as it were, you come down and you just slot this underneath initially. Then you open the door again and screw it down in the position you left it. So these provide the support for the bottom and the strength for the bottom to stop the rocking when the door is locked in its position and obviously removes all of that space across there for the door to slide backwards and forwards and then we have two over brackets here so this uses the original screw holes and the original bracket is underneath with the clip on it and then you um this bracket has got two holes on the back and the lip here which you should be able to see it comes up and over this bar so it stops the hinge behind here from popping out or snapping, which is what happened to us. And then it also provides extra strength to stop the door popping off by this lip here, which is resting against the channel bar. So you go like that and it obviously can't, can't go forward, can't pop off, can't pop the hinge out. And there are two of those. There's one there as well. So you've got two supports at the bottom for when you're traveling. So. What I say is you travel with it locked, travel with it locked back. So it sits back in this runner, as you can see, it goes in here, sits in this runner, and then you lock your door. And now that's safe for travel without it at risk of popping off or going anywhere. So you're retained on this side, you're retained down that side, you're retained down there, which I think you know we were able to see earlier down there and you're retained you know in the back there against against the runner rail so it can't come forward or pop off